Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Well, sometimes the drugs used to help treat cancer can actually create problems for a patient's heart. So today, the connection between chemotherapy and heart damage and a new program that helps doctors identify and monitor those risks. That's right. Dr. Vinay Tohan is the medical director of Advanced Heart Failure Therapies with Aurora Healthcare. Thanks for being here. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk this morning. Absolutely. I think, you know, anybody who's going through cancer or treatments um, really needs a lot of help, a lot of information information and a lot of support. So let's talk a little bit about what the Karen Yant Center for Cardio-Oncology at Aurora Healthcare is and exactly why that's important for cancer patients. So just a little bit of background. I, I think we recognize that cancer treatment and cure has doubled over the last 50 years, which is a wonderful statistic. Um, superimpose that by um, cardiovascular disease, which affects about one in three people in the United States. So it's not uncommon that people who are surviving cancer may wind up having cardiovascular disease. Mm. But it's more than just a coincidence. There is a real association between the two, and there are specific drugs that may, in low frequencies, cause heart issues. Okay. But if it's your loved one, whether it's a low frequency, two or three percent, for them, it's 100%. Yeah. So our program, what our program is really designed to do is to maximize the effects of the chemotherapy on the cancer cells and minimize the effects of the chemotherapy or other therapies on the heart and blood vessels. Is it just chemotherapy or is radiation also t sometimes a risk for having heart problems? Um, both and sometimes actually in combination, the risk is actually even higher. And it turns out that Karen's story really exemplifies that risk. When Karen was in her 20s, she had lymphoma and she was treated with radiation therapy and chemotherapy, very traditional therapy. She was cured of the cancer. 20 years later, she developed an incurable heart condition, mm. blood vessels of her heart. She was in her 40s. She lived eight years with that condition and she passed away. And her husband really became very concerned that there needs to be more advocacy for this issue. There needs to be more awareness of this issue. And so he helped in partnership with Aurora Healthcare to set up the Karen Yance Center for Cardio-Oncology. Mm -hmm. So who should be interested in this program and, and visiting this location? Well, I think all patients who have had chemotherapy and patients who are at risk of heart disease, those individuals should ask their healthcare providers, what is your plan for me? Mm -hmm. What is your plan for my heart in screening my heart? At our program, what we do is we take patients, whether they're about to receive chemotherapy or have received chemotherapy or radiation therapy, and we follow those patients in a very programmatic manner. We do ultrasounds of their heart, blood work, examinations, through their chemotherapy and then shortly after and even, you know, even years after their chemotherapy because some of these effects can occur later on. Mm -hmm. So with the heart disease, just because I know you said if there's a connection or if there's a family history, will, could the heart disease develop even if there is no family history in someone who's getting chemotherapy? So I'll give you some statistics. It's a really interesting question. And when we took a look at patients or children who are survivors of cancer and asked the question, do they develop cardiovascular disease? They are at an eight-fold increase in the risk of cardiovascular disease. And if you talk about adults who have survived their cancer and received chemotherapies or radiation therapy, they're at a 25% increase and it doubles with every decade after the age of 60. So there is a real, it's more than just a coincidence, it's a real right. association. Yeah. Yeah. And it really does need to be followed. So yeah. I'm thinking about people who are watching right now, doctor, and they're saying, okay, I completed cancer treatment. I had chemotherapy. Maybe I had radiation. Maybe I had both. Or I love someone who has been through cancer treatment and, and gone through chemo, radiation, or maybe both. What should they do if they'd like to understand better their risk for heart problems or they want to be checked? Yeah. So I think the first thing to do is obviously those patients that have symptoms of cardiovascular disease, that is shortness of breath, chest discomfort, difficulty doing day-to-day -day activities, the symptomatic patient should definitely seek attention from their primary care provider. Off, uh, they should offer them a referral to a cardiologist or a cardiovascular specialist to do. More importantly, what we'd like to do in the future and what the program is really set up to do in the future is try to prevent that from happening. Mm -hmm. Try to prevent the issues of symptomatic heart disease because we know that if we can start medical therapy before patients become symptomatic, that we will delay that process and may even cure or prevent those issues from occurring down the road. Sounds like you guys are doing some amazing work. Mm -hmm. You know, we have amazing patients. They yeah. are inspirational. You're talking about people that are survivors of cancer.
Um, it, some of their stories are, and, and I shared this with my colleagues, and, and we're all inspired every single day. Yeah. Well, I love that attitude that, mm -hmm. hey, they've survived cancer. They have already been through a lot. So let's try to do what we can to minimize any other additional problems they might have with their heart as a result. So thank mm -hmm. you so much for being here and sharing yeah, this information. You, you have a great website. People can also call for more information because I think a lot of people have questions about this after hearing this information might be new to a lot of people. So you can call 414-646-2662 or you can go to this website. It's aurora.org slash cardio uh, dash oncology. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. a lot.